Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Stars with Stasi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stasi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is a monthly reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Cross watchers are welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new, then welcome. Everyone, please feel free to share, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. I've got to get it out there. And I love the comments. So please feel free to leave a comment. I read and respond to all of them. I'm going to do a reading here for, again for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to tap into my spirit guides and get your highest and best messages. We'll do a nine card spread, past, present, and future. And we'll get some oracle cards to clarify whatever comes naturally. All right. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and interdimensional beings overseeing this act of divination. Please give me my highest and best messages for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. Also, Taurus, please don't forget to check the community posts because I do give away a reading per month to subscribers. Oh, in your recent past, we've got the lovers. Some, some choices were had to be made recently. What else do we have? Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. Eight of Swords, current energy, the world. King of Wands, Six of Swords, incoming energy. We've got Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Three of Wands. All right, so let me get also spirit, show me. Here we go. Thank you. All right, Taurus. So in your recent past, definitely you have had to, you've been in this energy of a life lesson in love. You've had to do some emotional homework, so to speak, and you've been in your feels. You've been gifted a new opportunity in love with this Ace of Cups and with the Eight of Swords, I do see some self-imposed restrictions. I'm feeling that many of you are maybe a little hesitant and apprehensive in moving forward in this new emotional energy that's uh, been presented to you. With your current energies, I have the world. And so you are really at the end of a karmic cycle. That is the last of the lessons in the fool's journey. So you really have come to a complete ending of a cycle and you are about to start something new. With this Six of Swords, you are definitely headed into calmer waters and this King of Wands. Couple of things here, Taurus. If you are recently involved with a, uh, a fire sign, this is coming in also as maybe somebody you work with. Just be mindful of King of Wands energy. That's like player energy. Um, it could be that maybe you need a little bit of fun, Taurus, and you need to be the player and get out there a little bit and date around. Otherwise, be mindful of any fire signs coming in. If you're looking for a um, committed, deep relationship, this may not be that person up front. Um, but we'll see what that turns into. You never know. You can't just dismiss someone because of their you know, sun sign or whatever. That's absurd. However, take into consideration that you do have this energy orbing around you. So we will definitely clarify on what that is. Um, incoming, I've got this Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. You have adventure headed your way. Um, and, you know, you may have to speak up for yourself. With this Seven of Wands, I'm in the next to the Three of Wands with this Three of Pentacles, all of this energy coming in for you. We're going to clarify, but this is like you're focused on moving ahead. You're focused on adventure, something new, because you have just come out of this really difficult cycle and you are gifted all of the new beginnings in love and emotions. So I feel like if you are, um, also if you are looking to pick up a new hobby, or if you, some of you are recently getting into something new, like a new side hustle or some of you are going back to school even um a new trade that's what I'm, I'm picking up like a new a new passion right and you're going to be successful in it it's going to take you places but you're really going to have to put up some boundaries because this is something different for you and so you may need to seek support outside of your regular circle all right what else do you have 
diving into a task. That's exactly what I was just saying. In this incoming energy, you're really diving into something new and that's going to take up a lot of your time and it, it's going to bring you some really, <laughs> some really amazing things because also Dragon's Horde came up protecting the future, whatever it is that you're about to invest your time and energy to, not just this person, okay, but this new um, venture, this is going to take you far. It's actually going to build generational wealth for you. Whale Song, number 61. This is about finding something that resonates with your heart song. And you are in this mode of bringing about what you're thinking about. You are attracting all of the things that you've been wishing upon. Um, let me see more. What do you want me to do? Here we go. Spirits saying that a recent, a recent relationship that you've had to re-examine. All right, let me be more clear. Give me one second, Taurus. Spirit is saying for a lot of you, actually, that you've had to heal some um, old wounds that had to do with an emotional relationship. And like I said, it might not always be romantic. This could be a family, um, a generational trauma is what I'm picking up. And so healing that is going to allow for new opportunities in love to present themselves. So if you have any old wounds that are having to do with family or past romance, you're going to be revisiting those this month because it's blocking your path forward in love. Whew. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Magician. You are manifesting stability and you're manifesting money. You're manifesting a new beginning with the material, a new home. Again, you're moving. You're moving and you're looking for stability with this four of pentacles. And you're manifesting love in your life at this time. Six of swords. This is the second time that came up. Taurus, you are moving away from those things that don't serve you. And this, you can see that this person's had heartache and they're over it. They're, they're looking ahead. They're looking ahead. Just the fool you're doing. You're starting over. You're starting over in love. When you have the fool, the you also have the three of wands. You are in this place of being committed to exploring what is out there. Four of swords. The world card again. This is the second deck. The same card, same message. I feel like I'm repeating myself. All right, look. All of this turmoil that you've been through it's time to rest in these lessons because you really have completed the entire fool's journey and you're in this place of emotional freedom is what i'm hearing i'm hearing emotional freedom is yours if you can let go of past traumas especially if if it was with your family or and, and i'm hearing clearly heal the divine feminine all right, so heal your divine feminine, either heal a trauma that is generational trauma in the divine feminine line, or if you've had um, a relationship that injured your feminine energy where you felt taken advantage of or that your boundaries were breached, you're going to want to spend some time healing that because <clears throat> it's blocking your incoming energy. And you're giving off, you know, if you don't heal that, you'll be giving off closed um, hmm. you'll be giving off the vibration of being unavailable because your mind is elsewhere fixing problems that need to be resolved. What else, Spirit? Two of Cups. This is your divine counterpart coming in. I, that's it. I'm going to stop right here as far as the messages for love because I don't want to be redundant. You need to go back and roll tape on recent past. All right. You got to look deep inside and and think like am, do I have a problem with my mom my grandmother my sister um 
you know, a best friend. There's a divine feminine in your life, Taurus, that is fractured. That relationship has been fractured and it's preventing you that there needs to be some forgiveness so that you can attract the love that's seeking you because it's here. This two of cups, it is right here in your future. And I see you successfully doing it. You just need to take a little bit of time between all of the life lessons, all of the, um, you know, really picking apart your past relationships so that you can, you know, sit with what parts you played, what perspectives, um, maybe you didn't have the full picture on something and now you do. And so you see things differently. And if you can just get past all of the perceived issues, you really are right there. You have all of the energy to bring forward that love that's also attracting you. So that is what spirit has to say in terms of love. Now let's look at your career because I do see so much um, change that I feel that it would only be fair to give just a little bit of time here to your career. Um, I see a lot of pentacles and you're in manifestation mode. And it's again, it's more than just incoming love. You have a real friendship in this person that's coming in. I know I'm talking about career and talking about love at the same time. Ah, oh, the trials and tribulations of being a psychic with multiple spirits that all want time. <laughs> they all want airtime. So they're coming through um, quite a bit right now. So bear with me. I promise I'll sort it all out. But the path to new love is healing old traumas, looking at things with a new perspective, taking a little bit of a break between the life, le between the life lessons and the new you, right? June, or whenever you're hearing this, but June is going to be a good month for you to rest in all that has been reflected back to you because that new love is there. All right, with money, what do we have? What do we have? Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> That's great news. <laughs> That's great news. Queen of Pentacles, you are doing it. You are Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Again, Six of Swords. Listen, Taurus, whatever mindset you have been in, get out of it. If it was, you know, even with your job. I mean, when I was looking at your love energy, it gave me the Six of Swords. Basically, leaving what doesn't serve you, just leaving with, you know, <laughs> the clothes on your back and you're out. Now, when it comes to me looking into your financial future, I'm, I'm picking up that whatever you're doing for a living, if it's not serving you, meaning like it's not fulfilling you, you are going to have an, um, an amazing amount of success going on your own, queen of pentacles. You know, you have ideas that you are going to be able to bring forward and gain a lot of um, financial success from that. This 10 of pentacles, again, this is wish fulfillment. This is really about you with your divine counterpart feeling with this new job, with this new you, this new vibe and completely happy Taurus. You have a lot of really good energy coming your way. Um, but you first have to get away from all those things that aren't serving you. Um, I want to look into what energies it is that you should pull on to kind of get through these transitions with more ease. So let's look at that. Um, all right, Taurus, what can Taurus do to ease all of this um, transition? Because you're going to be in this liminal space of, you know, what you once were and who you are becoming. There's that transition and that's where you are mid-year. Um, you know, you just had a birthday. We have a new moon in Gemini. It's all about change and communication. And so you are going to be speaking your truth. I'm hearing that very clearly that when you revisit the past and you revisit the situation of forgiveness and looking at things in a new perspective, you are going to get new information that's going to allow you to heal the past. And that new information is going to also give you a new perspective and you're going to have a lot to say and it's going to be healing. It's definitely going to be healing. This forgiveness is going to bring in this new love. And that's reflecting all around you. Taurus, I'm picking up that, you know, there are 
new energies all around you. Hmm. Yeah, and new opportunities are coming with your finances. Like I said, you may be moving, and if you move, you may have to relocate and get a, a different job. Um, I'm also hearing explore what you can do in your community for um, to make connections. So release your critical voices within. In order to do all of these changes with ease and to move forward um, in a place of confidence, release the critical voices that are within you. And these critical voices are also coming from that childhood trauma that's requiring you to revisit it and release it. When a critical inner voice says, I'm not enough or I'm too sensitive, immediately counter it with, this is not true. Focus on loving thoughts instead. This is how you're going to gain the new perspective so that you can release anything that doesn't serve you and attract that love that is seeking you that you also seek. You have um, this, this critic inside you, and we all do. But especially for the fixed signs, this year, 2023, has been all about reevaluating, revisiting, refining. It's exhausting. And, you know, you've been so critical of yourself for so long in discovering who you are going to be and what you want to put your energy towards. You know, you've got to give yourself more hugs, less hammers. So when you have that critical voice saying that you are not enough, do a stop pause, take a look back at all the things that you've accomplished this year and step forward with the confidence knowing that, you know, there is no race. You're not working against someone else. This is about you living your highest and best and taking some time to reflect again that four of swords. That's, I think, where you're missing it, Taurus, sometimes in the past. You know, you do all this work to refine and you don't take the time to, to really sit in what you've done and enjoy it and give yourself kudos. So that is the advice Spirit's giving you. After all is said and done, you know, in this month, take some time to reflect on how far you've come and give yourself some, um, some hugs. Definitely. All right. Anything else? Yes. Let's do this right here. What can Taurus focus on manifesting as all of these paths are clearing? Because that's also what I'm hearing. You're clearing a lot of old, old programming. And in addition to this new relationship, and, I, and I'm hearing that you are attracting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be any sign, but the the strongest energy is a water sign. And that came, that was also the message for Virgo and Capricorn. So like I said, I think I said that already. All right. Um, okay, middle of the deck. My ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts. That's exactly the releasing the critical voice within. So I really think that's what spirit wants to tell you. This, this healing of past situations, you're going to see where your inner critic really comes from. And in order to move forward, it's all about reframing it and rewording it. You are not, you are not this, all right? You are not too sensitive. You are not, you know, coming in short of your potential. Reword all of those things and remember that your ability to receive, your ability to receive this love that you seek, that seeks you, your ability to experience that is really based on how much you practice good feelings and thoughts because you bring about what you think about. And you are indeed in this mode of manifestation and this love is headed your way. So I am very excited for you, Taurus. I think that um, I can really feel that you've got a lot of changes and a lot of emotional healing and growth coming your way. You might have a tough talk this month. Um, it could be, you know, revisiting a situation that requires healing, but it's for your betterment and it is going to allow for some of the best experiences, experiences <laughs> that you could have hoped for this year. All right. So in closing, Taurus, 
just keep the high vibes and, you know, reframe anything you need to because this is your script, your life, and good things are coming. So in closing, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it, Taurus. And until next time, shine brightly.